Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Josh. I have a real awesome video for you today because today I'm going to go over just a ton of random Pokemon pins that I'm going to be listing for sale in the next few days. I've decided to focus my Pokemon pin collection mainly on TCG and tournament related pins. Uh, so this is going to be the very first wave of random single pins that I'm going to be posting for sale in the next few days. I decided to go over them in a video and uh, here they are. I'm going to start right here with the bottom ones, get these out of the way. These are very nice pins and like these little like Pokeball belt clips. We got like a very serious Pikachu right there. Uh, very cool. Right here we've got a Ho-Oh. And these are uh, official pins with copyright information and everything. I'll try to note that when I can. Let me try to fix the light just a little bit. I don't know if that helped at all. But uh, here we got Lugia right here. Very nice. Bell Awesome. And I'm going to try to get, you know, the newer Pokemon names. Uh, I don't know them all. I'm going to do the best I can. Here's like a happy waving Pikachu. Very adorable. Here we have everyone's favorite, Tokopi, or at least that's my daughter's favorite, right? Here's a very nice hat pin set. These, as far as I know, I have not taken them out. Uh, they do not have any copyright information on the back. They look very nice. Um, we've got Snorlax, Meowth, Pikachu, and just a generic, like, Pokeball logo right there. Set that to the side. Um, I've got most of the license pins on this side, so I'm going to start with them. we got, like, this set of these... Uh, you know, Evolutions Pixel Pins. We've got Jolteon, Flareon, very cute. Uh, Leafeon, Espeon, Sylveon, and of course, just Eevee right there. And these are official Pokemon pins. You can see like the pattern on the back and everything. Set those right there. I uh, just have a really just loose Vaporeon. I think it came with the uh, Evolution set, but I don't know where the Evolution other ones are, but official has the pattern on the back. This is Cedra, I think. Is that Cedra? No, that's not Cedra. Is it Kingdra? I don't know the name. Official Pokemon pin right there. You can see some copyright information. Uh, this was released in some of those Japanese blister packs. Kind of hard to get the light on it since it's so shiny, but it's uh, Pikachu flipping a waffle. Very cool. Uh, next up is this set of these from, uh, they've got like a uh, Lolan Volpix. These were released in a set and I think this is the entire set. I'm not sure. We have Pikachu with his little festive hat on. And then we have Poplio balancing a little snowball. All right, right here we have the black and white pens. You've probably seen these. I think these were pre-order bonuses. I'm not entirely sure or with the release of the games. Copyright information on the back, pretty cool. This is the only one I have from this set, but there was a whole bunch of these for each EV Evolution release. Very nice, I mean, I can't even get how shiny that thing is on, on screen. Copyright information on the back. Very interesting pin set right here. These came, were released for the game Pokemon Ranger in 2006. Very nice Charizard pin. Has the copyright information, double posts, I love that. And this was, um. From what I understand, this is what replaced Pokeballs in that game. You played as a Pokemon Ranger and used this. It was called a Capture Styler. Go look it up, but goes with the Charizard. Um, very interesting pin right here. It's like got a Pokemon clock on it. It's got a bunch of cool Pokemon. We got Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Psyduck, Bulbasaur, another Pikachu, Squirtle, Clefairy, Togepi, Snorlax, Mewtwo, Mew. Uh, this is released for that AMA. Um, a and A Airlines when they had the deal with Pokemon 1998 Nintendo, one out of 747. That was because that was the uh, uh, type of plane 747, I believe. Pretty hard to find pen. Um, really interesting. Uh, well, I'll start with the, those are the unlicensed pens right here. Very nice Pokemon Gold version. See, this does not have any uh, copyright information, but I believe this was a licensed pen released in the set, and the set itself had copyright information on the. Back of the box, I'm not entirely sure. This is for Pokemon Silver. Nice Lugia pin, very nice, same thing. When they can sell as a uh, set, I kind of want to do that. Right here is released for the Balloon Festival. Was it Saga City International Balloon Festival 1998? I like that. It's got Pikachu holding a Honda sign. Copyright stamped information on the back. Um, that's a legitimate release pin, but I don't know if they seek out the copyright. Actually got it. These are very interesting pins. A lot of people don't even know these pins exist. These are actually Hard Rock Cafe Pokemon pins. 
Right here we have Ekans, probably the best one to see the uh, copyright information on right there. Let's see, boom, Hard Rock Cafe, very awesome. Uh, Ekans right here. And then we've got very underrated Pokemon. You don't see him represented that often. Mewtwo, very cool. Cubone and Mew. Now, as far as I know, there are two other pins that were released in this set. There was a Pikachu relaxing in his little um, floaty like that, although that's not it. And then there was a Nidoking. This, as you can see, it does look exactly like I've actually had one before, but it sold off a while ago. This has no copyright information. Still could be legitimate pins. I just have no idea where they released. So now we're going into pins that I believe don't have any copyright info on. But if you have a very nice pin of just Ash and Pikachu. We have two Blastoise pins, similar position. Uh, this one's kind of like darker a lot. This one's more like shinier. Ooh. Of course, no copyright information. These are very interesting pins. I've seen them around for a while. Um, they're foreign pins. As you can see, they have like the um, foreign names like Evoli. No copyright information, but still cool. We have Psyduck, our Enton, Gengar, Ponyta. And someone tried to buy that Gengar pin off of me a while back. I feel bad for not selling it. I almost did. And now here I am selling it. I can't even remember that guy. Here's just like a generic Pokeball, very shiny. It's kind of gold tone on the uh, top, silver on the bottom, two posts, very nice pin. Here is a pin. It was officially, not, not official, it was released by some sort of like official entity. But again, I don't think they had the license. This was from some New Mexico balloon festival. It actually, see as you can see, it's a hot air balloon Pikachu. It actually made a Charizard and a Merrill version. I had the Merrill version at one point. I've seen the Charizard version. Uh, now we just have just some interesting random pins. Like here's a old uh, Jigglypuff. Pikachu. No copyright info, of course. Oh, this one does have some sort of copyright info. We've got Bulbasaur. Boom, look at that. Nice. And then we have Wigglytuff. No copyright info. All right, um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you saw see anything you're interested in, let me know. Uh, I'm going to be listing things in multiple groups in the um, upcoming days. Uh, that's it. Take it easy. See you guys next time. Peace.